It's the Jim Fannin Show. We've come to take your mind. Just take it nice and easy, okay? Just relax. Monday. It's 2.53 my time. It doesn't really matter what time it is here. Thanks for jumping aboard. Meow. All right, we're going to hit it quick. We're going to hit it hard. We're going to hit it often. (laughs) Repeatedly. In more than one general direction, okay? And you're going to like it. And that's all there is to it. Welcome aboard. I am Jim Fannin. This is the Jim Fannin Show. I, um, you know, talk to people. <laughs> What's a, where's, where's my script? Where's my script? <laughs> oh my gosh. A live from... <laughs> Live from St. Catharines, it's the Jim Fannin Show. <laughs> I talk to politicians, media types, rock stars, and heathens. Thursday night, I'm usually live at 7 p.m. On Twitter at Team Niagara. On Facebook, it's Jim Fannin. On Twitch, it's the Jim Fannin Show. And YouTube as True A Tube. Two words, T-R-E-W, True Tube. And when I play this back, you'll f- you can see where else you can find us in the comments. How to contribute, how to donate. Man, I need some help. If you have any tech skills, I need some web help. I need lots of help. Oh, my. Man, if I had writers and sourcers and researchers to find me clips and put them up in order so I could just talk about them, that would not suck. You know, I've been stealing a lot from uh, Kevin McInnes' show notes because that's the only place I really, you know, I I stay away from this stuff, what you're looking at here. But let's just get into this, okay? Let's hit it. Country, but when it comes to a public health issue in which you're in the middle of a deadly pandemic and the common enemy is the virus, it just doesn't make any sense to to essentially disregard or, or, or don't pay attention to what's obvious. President Biden also walking back his claim on Friday that Facebook and other social media platforms are, quote, killing people by allowing COVID misinformation. And Facebook pushed back hard after the president accused it of killing people with this misinformation. Uh, Today, the president tried to clean up his comments while still urging Facebook to crack down on the vaccine lies spread on the site. It was pointed out that Facebook, of all the misinformation, 60% 60% of the misinformation came from 12 individuals. Facebook isn't killing people. These 12 people are out there giving misinformation. And okay, you get it. it was, this is a non-stop barrage of lies. <laughs> and if you're unvaccinated, you are the enemy. Okay, That's who is killing people now. That's the new target, the unvaccinated. It's been coming for a long time. Uh, Biden on Facebook. They're killing people with vaccine information, misinformation. Fauci went on a tour, is on a tour right now. Here he's on with Jim. I love me some Acosta, Acosta. 
and wow. To look at the extraordinary historic success in eradicating smallpox and eliminating polio from most of the world, and we're on the brink of eradicating polio. If we had had the pushback for vaccines the way we're seeing on certain media, uh, I don't think it would have been possible at all to not only eradicate smallpox, we probably would still have smallpox and we probably would still have polio in this country. Uh, lies, 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 lies. CNN, that's it. Okay, so smallpox is a long time ago, right? Um, do you think if the flu, the Kung flu, had a 30% death rate, like smallpox did, you'd have vaccine hesitancy. I mean, <laughs> isn't that why we have a vaccine now? Because it was killing people in, at such a rate that they would try anything, including taking the infected blood and the supposed antibodies of a recovered person and injecting them into someone to prevent them from getting it. Isn't that how vaccines started? <laughs> Good Lord. You have vaccine hesitancy because a lot of us would prefer to roll the dice on getting the flu than taking your shot. Post and said, while social media plays an important role in society, it is clear that we need a whole of society approach to end this pandemic. And facts, not allegations, should help inform that effort. Uh, and who's going to decide? So, sorry, I've got my captions on. I'm an old man, and I use captions. Well, I don't always use captions. I was watching a movie the other day. Or no, this is on TV. I think I had the captions on for the MMA fight the other day. How do I turn them off? I should not be doing this now. But if I go back to here, oh, I don't want my captions on. It's for, don it's for donkey. Oh, anyways, I got more... And uh, we're going to hit that just after I take care of this slight distraction of captions on my television. Done. Yeah. Smallpox. I don't know why I clicked on this one. Our world and data. I haven't been here for a long time. What is smallpox? How is it transmitted? Basically the same, coughing or sneezing. No symptoms for 10 to 14 days. No symptoms of common cold. 30% it killed. Hello. I'm not taking your flu shot. I never did take your flu shot, so I'm not about to take the new shot, the new untested. Un um regulated or approved shot mm -hmm. i will not take his word for it he wants us to inject bleach i no, i will not take his word look at the contempt on this poor cow's face <laughs> my goodness <laughs> such hate word. senator harris also suggested public health i will not to inject will not take his word for it full source we should get the I will not take his word for it. He wants us to inject bleach. I, no, I will not take his word. <laughs> She's still going on the inject bleach thing. Oh, what a clown. You know, the Foo Fighters suck. They absolutely suck. I, I don't like anything about the F Foo Fighters. Actually, their last tune wasn't bad, but they're clowns. Um, Dave Grohl, shut up. Anyway... Foo Fighters was having a concert mm -hmm. for the vaccinated only. And guess who had to cancel their concert because someone got COVID. Oh my good gosh. The irony is palatable. Palpable? Palatable. Palpable. Is that even the, the correct word there? Marvel confirms Captain America would have switched sides in Vietnam and fought with the communists. Right. Something's, you just, there's nothing 
more to say. This is a PPC video that came out today. Oops, I think I'm cropped a little too tight for you. Churchill was a racist. How about Port Dalhousie? You're going to have to cancel Port Dalhousie too. Here you go. Vote for Max. Let's cancel the book. I didn't watch this till the end. Not bad though. Not bad. Listen. I've got some problems with the PPC only because they were mean to me. <laughs> Because I know the party from the inside a little bit, having worked with them a little bit, booking Max for interviews and through the candidate application process. And not only that, just, I mean, I've spoken to Max on the phone a couple times. I got to meet him a few weeks ago when he was in town. And uh, for, she call, he called me on New Year's Eve. See, like... Maybe he was recruiting or whatever, but his party, whoever was in charge of uh, approving candidates, thought that I was unsuitable. And I've been quiet about it because I kind of just said, okay, if God wants me on a different path, I'll accept that. But they, they accepted Mark Emery for crying out loud. And he's like, you think I'm controversial? Mark Emery? Hello. And I don't, like I'm just saying. I figured they weren't going to accept a guy like Mark Emery because he's got a little bit of baggage. And I guess mine is more significant. Sad. Anyway, I still like Max. He's a good man. And just because his party's infrastructure kind of sucks balls right now. And, well, their communication sucks. Just tell me what the fuck is the problem. Like, what was the problem? I was clean on my background check. What? My, f my s social media is too filthy for the PPC? Fuck off. Oh boy, what what do we got here? I forgot what I was doing this one for. How come I got no sound? Oh, here we go. Voice the right of every American family. Restore the classics to education in our schools, and we must eliminate critical race theory Amen. at every level. Damn straight. I don't know why I'm, oh, maybe Criti this is maybe this is the lead into an, another story. Could be. I don't order my uh, clips all that well, as you can see. Oh, this is, oh, I see. Yeah, this is uh, from my Facebook page about what's her name. Michelle Leet. She was uh, recorded in a video last week when she said uh, about the stop CRT protesters to just let them die. Anyway, yeah, I took that from Facebook today. This is a donkey. Uh, uh, AOC joins Black Lives Matter in calling for end to cruel Cuba embargo as Biden stands firm. You know, like, hey, AOC, shut your <laughs> mouth. You're not smart. I might, shit, I might, I shouldn't be doing this because I'll get copyright strikes for this coming from Newsweek. Anyways, you don't care about that anyway. Outrage, NPR. <laughs> Outrage as a, as a business model. How Ben Shapiro is using Facebook to build an empire. NPR is getting killed by guys like this. Ben Shapiro is raking it in you know where he's raking it in you think he's making money on facebook uh, no he gets paid subscribers to pay him to watch exclusive content that be comes from behind a, a paywall maybe i'll do that with this uh episode seeing as i'm not live 
I'll put it up for my two Patreons <laughs> on an unlisted link on YouTube. Yeah, why not? Anyways, NPR is tanking. Ben Shapiro is going through the roof, and they don't like it. <laughs> so smear campaign is on. Uh, have you heard this little clip before? That's why we're speaking out against it. As for uh, Mr. Carney, you're right, he's part of the World Economic Forum that the finance minister joins, which says that in 2030, only nine years from now, you will own nothing and you will love it. That is the agenda of these people. Maybe that's why over the last year they've done everything in their power to make housing completely unaffordable so that nobody can afford it except them, a small group of landed aristocrats, why, while the common people are out in the field doing the work. We on this side want to democratize property ownership, make it available to everybody. Oh. Thank you, Pierre. Illegal immigration has continued to decline. This was an article in Forbes in March. What? Fox, however, says different. Who are you going to believe? Hmm? When you look at the June numbers, 188,829. In May, 180,000 plus you are seeing numbers that we have not seen in more than 20 years. What? Yeah, a million already this year. A million illegal aliens crossed the southern U.S. border and have been released into the interior after being... Well, how much processing can get done? Catch and release. A million... Wasn't wasn't under Trump, weren't they down to like thousands per month? You know? Like they had that thing tight tightened right up. Biden's America sucks. Okay, on a lighter note and on the way out, how long I've been rolling for. Oh good, this is a twenty minute segment. That's excellent. I should not play this either, but I'm passing going to so I'm here sure is Geek Curry. Curry. First ten eighty. Final attempt at the ten eighty. Can he do it? Right here, right He's now. He's getting higher and higher. Now this has never been done before in competition. And Tony Hawk is in the house. He's there. This kid is twelve years old and he's gonna nail it. Every time. Spoiler alert. Oh, yeah. Stand up. Stand up. That's it. There it is. Oh! Told you. <laughs> no. Told you. No, that, that, that's not the best part. Tony Hawk in the house. He's getting some love. First, he's, he's bawling his eyes out. And his girlfriend's saying, don't cry. Go ahead, cry. Thug th th tears. Cry the thug tears. The little baby thug tears. You good, son. You now, why is he making such a big deal out of the fact he's crying? It's fucking yeah. great. Makes me want to cry. All right, stop crying, man. Just, you, you get 15 cry seconds if you want, man. Fuck. Express yourself. As men, we need to Look at that ourselves. kid, man. Isn't that great? 12 years old. World record holder. First guy ever to do the 1080. Nice. Yeah. My Facebook feed's not all that bad. Oh. Let's keep it light on the way out and self-promotion. Hey, this guy's got almost 6,000 views on this little video. And this guy. Uh, it's my video, man. weirdo. All right, let's take uh, uh, maybe another call or two. Or we got uh, Jimmy Fannin. My brother, how are you? Do you find it ironic? I, I know you see the irony in the fact that only you guys could get the word censored. Censored. Like, oh, my God. And if you put, if you spell dot in brackets, it passes. So that's mm. how I've been getting my post out. But I wanted to ask you guys, have you been uh, tuned in ever to Canada's greatest gift to the world since Trailer Park Boys? It's called Letter Kenny. Have you checked it at all? Mm -hmm. Letter Ken. Letter Kenny. It's a show. Check it. You'll love it. Anyways, I'm the guy that called about meeting a girl in the YouTube comment section that said, you said you'd officiate the wedding. She's been kind of cool with me lately, you know, like really busy and vacationing. And well, her brother seems to be sick a lot. Her mother always needs a ride, even though 
Well, she's in Vancouver. I think her parents are in Toronto. So this but is dude, a pretty good bit, actually. We're going to be the first to be married in the YouTube comment section. So you're off the hook, kind of. I still want you to officiate. But You sound like you uh, something at a 90-day fiancé. You know she's fucking with you, right? <laughs> no, dude, this is for real. Are you going to pack edible this. panties it, when you go to visit her in, in Mexico? No, she hasn't asked me for money yet, and I think this is completely legit. Yeah, it's only been, uh, it's been it's almost 60 days, Gavin. Come yeah, it's on. Been 60 days since today. It's... All right, let's see what happens at 90 days. <laughs> All right, thanks for calling. Great hearing from you. I thought you were messing with him when you didn't know Letterkenny. No, I know Letterkenny. Yeah, okay. yeah. I don't know why I'm getting a lag. Well, today I, I decide not to go live. And for some reason, I'm only recording on my system. I shouldn't have any more resources being used because of that. But that was a little bit of a lag. I'm sorry. And Theodore Tugboat is in town tomorrow. Uh, yeah. She pulls into Port Luzi tomorrow. Where is his latest post? Oh, he had a, I thought he had a r more recent post up here. Up here is... Yeah, well, I guess this is the one. Yeah, here he is coming across the lake, and he'll be in Port Luzi tomorrow. Go check him out. He's got lots of fans. I guess I have no idea who he is. I thought, just thought it was cute. I guess he's a kid's thing. What else? Is that it? Is that it? That's all I got? That's it? A couple feel th good things on the way out, and that's it? All right. Well, you're off the hook. Peace. Love. Hug your neighbor. And uh, head on over to True. True. Oh. True. And um, book market. And I'm going to need some help with this bad boy. It's uh, WordPress. And I know nothing about it. So I'm going to need a hand. Running the back end of it. Okay. Okay. Peace. Love. Hug your neighbor. Rip that diaper off your face. And I am out. <laughs>